times 10 is 50, Yay. and then 10 is 5 times 2, and then I say, what do I see 2 of? Two fives. So I could put a 5 out front, and the poor little 2 is left inside. But I sort of, I prefer this method just because it's, it's much clearer why there's a 5 there, because the square root of 25 is 5. There it feels sort of like magic. This is much more explicit in your face. This is why it's happening the way it is. Uh, what about number two? Which way did you guys do number two? I like it. So one way is method one. Nine is a smart number to use because nine is a square. So I can say square to nine, square to two. What's the square to nine? Three. Square to two? I don't know. If you did it the other way, you could do three times six is 18. And then what's six? Three times two, what do I see two up? Two threes, so I can put a three out front and the poor little two is left inside. Same same answer, it's got to be the same answer. Sweet. This, okay. All right, number three is a little, I guess a little tricky maybe, but let me just show you what method two looks like because I saw a lot of people doing method two. Um, so I can say, okay, 48 is two times 24. 24 is 2 times 12. 12 is 2 times 6. 6 is 2 times 3. Good. All right. What's definitely going to be left inside at least? A 3. There's only one 3, and the square root needs 2 of something to come out, right? So what do I see 2 of? I see 2, 2 times 2 is right there, right? I see a 2 times 2 and another 2 times 2. Or another way to say it is I see two twos, so a 2 can come out. I see another two twos, another two can come out, two times two is four. I like it. So for every pair, you take one out, and what's left inside, the poor little dude that was by himself. Maybe. And really, 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 watch. If I take four times square root of three, I really want this understood. I, I can't make that the square root of 12. Does everybody see that? I can't do four times the square root of three. They have to have the same root. What is four the square root of? 16. So I can write, this is square root of 16 times square root of three. Do you guys see that? Right, because four is square root. And what's 16 times three? 48. There, I just checked my work. I made sure that my answer became what it was supposed to be in the beginning. So that is the square root of 48, is that? Right, maybe. Maybe. Okay, okay. What about number four? What method do you guys use for that one? Yeah, we can do eight times ten. Eight is two times two times two, and ten is two times five. So I see two twos and another two twos. So for each one of those, I can pull out a two. So out, out comes a four. And what's left inside? Five. And to check it, 16 times 5 is 80, because it's 4 is the square root of 16 again. So I can kind of check my work at the end. Please, your guy, let me know if something's not making sense. All right. Or, or forever hold your peace. Uh, oh, quick. Uh, can I see a uh, number three? Three? So that's one way to do it. 
The other way to do that is to realize that 16 goes into 48 three times. Square root of 16 is 4, and the 3 is left inside. Can't you see a negative 4 and then 4 again? Oh, it's not negative. It's an equal sign. My bad. I just circled it. And again, why? There's a group of two twos there. So a two comes out. Another group of two twos. So another two comes out. So four comes out total. Okay, please, please, don't, don't, don't listen to me and think that's supposed to be easy now. I understand it, so I'm not going to say anything. No, just please say something. Score roots are not something we use all the time. They're not supposed to be immediately easy. Okay. Why is number five? A little freaky. Because 33 is just 11 times 3. Are there two of anything? No. No. So you're done. Yeah, a score root can only do something. can only be simplified if there actually is two of something inside. And there ain't two of anything. Not pretty numbers anyway. There's two uh, decimals in there. Screw that. I don't want to go there. Uh, I threw some cube roots in there. But these are not... Horrible ones. These are ones that are just can be done. You got it. You should know what the cube root of 64 is. You just you should just know it. What is the cube root of 64? Four. Four. Because it takes four, uh, three fours to multiply to be 64. 125. We sort of saw that up here. Uh, I erased the poor little dude. What does it take three of to make 125? Five. 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 I like it. And you can start to break it up if you're not sure, and eventually you'll break it up into five times five times five. So the answer is five. That's all you have to do for questions like that. Total. Cube root needs groups of three. A seventh root would need groups of seven of something, right? So those numbers would be kind of large if you could do the seventh root. What is the what is the twenty-eighth root? You write that What's the twenty-eighth root of one? One. One. Because what does it take twenty-eight of to multiply to be one? One. So any root of one is kind of silly. Freaking answer is going to be one. I like it. All right. So that's the that's sort of the same thing as making uh, improper fraction become a mixed number. It's sort of the same thing. It's pulling out all the nice whole number stuff and leaving the weird shit behind. Same thing you do with mixed numbers. What's your gut tell you this should be here? Yeah, I got three rad fives. I add another four rad fives. I got seven rad fives. And, and do you see the connection between these two problems here? What does this mean? This means you got three things I don't know and four things I don't know. So I got seven things. Do you know what the square root of five is? No. So I got three things I don't know plus four of the same thing I don't know. I got seven of those freaky things. It works the same way as variables because I don't know what the hell it is. I like it. Get excited. No, now, do you see how this is more like 2x plus y right now? Because I got two rad 2s and one rad 50. I can't put those together. I don't want to see no two rad 52. Right? You can't add them because they're not like terms. But what, what can I do with 50? We already did it. Isn't rad 50 5 rad 2? So I got two rad two plus five rad two is seven rad two. Sweet, I like it. It's just like terms. That's all it is. But if it's radicals, it's not a variable. It is a number. I can do something with it maybe to make it become like terms. I can't do shit with y to make it become x. But I can do something with rad fifty to make it become some rad two. So here, we did rad forty eight. The thing to realize is this is what's the operation here. Between 3 and rad 48, what's the operation? Multiplication. Multiplication. And what was rad 48? Four. 4 rad 3. You already did the work. So it's going to be 3 times 4, four rad 3. Because that 3 is multiplying, right? And what's how do you do rad 12? What's, yeah, I like it. So 12 is 4 times 3. What's the square root of 4? Two. Times the 2 that's already out there. 4 rad 3. The 3 gets left inside. Poor little dude. And now I've got, what's this? 12 rad 3s minus 8 rad 3s is 4 rad 3s. Yes. 
What happens? Oh, I put a four there. I'm silly. That should be a four there. Good job, Jeff. Beautiful. I like it. Please, dear God, if I make a mistake, correct me. I will make mistakes. I'm not going to pretend to be perfect. Yes? Because it should have been a two, right? What's the score to four? Two. And then two times two, that's why I put a four there. Because I did the two times two, and then I put the two again. But right here, let me, let me blow that up. Let's just look at this piece. All right, just that piece of it. The score to 12 is the score to 4 times the score to 3. Is that cool? And then what's the score to 4? 2. So I should have just had minus 4 rad 3. I like it. My mistake was I did 2 times 2 and I put a 4 and then I put the 2 again. Which is a very human, easy mistake to make. I like it. So that piece is minus 4 rad 3. And then you can put it together with the other. It's cool. I like it. Is that? I just want to show you one reason why we want to be able to simplify radicals is so I can put them together with other radicals and simplify stuff. That's one reason we want to be able to do it. Cool. Yes, ma'am? In the number 5, how can we solve it? No, no. Did you say already simplify? Right. Yeah, if I said, you know, simplify square root of 3, yeah, it's, it's, you can't do anything with that. So there's going to be larger numbers. It's not prime, but there's not two of anything in it. So the square root can't be done. I like it. Okay, cool. All right, so the new stuff we're going to do today, and then we'll head out. Uh, is the percentages, the appendices. Oh yeah, I just felt like taking a walk. Apparently. This uh, this thought exercise with you. Did I already tell you? Talk to you about like if I suddenly had a ten percent cut in my pay. Do you remember this? I, I did something. Like no, no, it's free. Yeah. Uh, so very quickly, just to remind you guys, if my pay was cut by ten percent and I went and complained, and then they increased my pay by ten percent, I don't get back up to where I was. And the whole point with that is, I love the look. Uh, if I was making 10 bucks an hour, let's pretend, right? Thankfully, it's not true. If I was making 10 bucks an hour, what's a 10% cut? What's 10% of 10? One. I love it. Another way to say 10% is one tenth of something. Do you guys know this? 10%, what's percent mean? Let's start there. What's percent mean? Percent. What it costs per, per hundred. I love it. And that's why we use the word cents. We, we stole it from the Romans, right? They have this word centum or whatever the hell it was. Total. It, huh? Or of the total, right? No, no, no. So percent means per hundred, okay. period. So like 72% of 100 is easy. It's 72. 72% of 100, if it's 72 for every 100 and I got 100, I got 72. Yay, it's easy. So you got to be careful, though. Percent does mean per hundred. It, it kind of makes everything become out of a hundred so we can wrap our brains around it. So if I talk about your part of the na of the federal debt, it's like, I don't freaking understand. But if I made a percentage, we might be able to wrap our brains around it a little better instead of looking at the huge-ass numbers. All right. Uh, so if I got my pay cut, if I made 10 bucks an hour and I get a 10% cut in my pay, what am I making now? Nine dollars an hour because it's one dollar I lost. I go complain, and they say, okay, we'll raise your pay back up by 10%, but what's 10% of 9? 0.90. 0.90, oh shit. Right? 10% of 10 is 1, 
So 10% of 9 is a little less. It's only 90 cents. So now I'm making 9.90. And I don't know if you remember making, you know, 10 cents an hour adds up quick. You know, give me that 10 cents an hour back. Jeez. So percentages don't mean a damn thing unless they're of something. Right? So if I said 5% of the people over there and 5% of the people over there, are those the same amount of people? No. How many freaking people are over there? A thousand versus twenty, then that's gonna be five percent of them is gonna be a lot more. Does that make sense? I like it, maybe. Okay. Uh, so something that first off, let's do the real basics here. Um, how do you convert a decimal to a percent and, and vice versa? Alright, so all you gotta do really is remember that what percent means. So, so, for example, if I have 8%, you can take them to a fraction actually easier. Because what does percent mean? 100. Per 100. So this would be 8 per 100, which is what is a decimal? Decimal, not a scientific notation. I love it. Tenths, hundredths, kick ass. So what's the shortcut then? To go from percent to decimal. Where's the decimal at right now? There. Move it back twice and you make it into a decimal. Right? Maybe. So, so go from decimal to percent, you just go the other way. What's really kind of funny to me, which way did I go? I went from percent to decimal. Right? Do you see how I wrote these words in alphabetical order? I know you guys must think I'm insane. Sometimes, but just go with me. The decimal to percent, if you arrive in alphabetical order, you go the direction you go from word to word. If I'm going from percent to decimal, I go that way. I went that way, bam. Why is it two places? Because it's out of 100. Of course it's two places. The only question is, which way do I go? So if I'm going from a decimal, if I had 0 0.179, how do I make that into a percentage? Yeah, you move it twice that way, because now I'm going decimal to percent. I want to go that way. Let that be beautiful. Right? Bam, bam, 17.9%. I like it. Does that make sense? All right. Let's talk about, and fractions, of course, are easy for all of these. What is this as a fraction? I'm saying it's easy, but let me make sure. What is that as a fraction? What place is it in? Thousands. Thousands. So it's 179 over? Thousand. How many zeros did I put? How many places out is it? Holy shit. All right, so let that be simple. Okay. So the last little thing for this piece of it, the basics. How do I go from fractions to percentage? So, let's start for the nice one. Oh, shit. No, oh, shit. Those things shit. What's up? You don't have to divide this one. There's a much better way to do this one. So, you, how do I make the bottom 100? You're right, you're right. But let me make it the whole way. Multiply by what? Why would that be easy? Because eight hundredths is eight percent, ain't it? If I can, uh, what's eleven hundredths? Eleven hundredths is what percent? Eleven freaking percent, because percent means per hundred. So if I can make the thing become a hundred easy, I'm going to do that. Screw long division, right? And you guys are like, that's my general stance on long division. Do I understand? Uh, so I have to multiply by what? Twenty. So you better multiply by twenty, so that becomes eighty. So it's what? 80%. Easy. So what if I had two 25ths? Multiply by four. Eight. Eight percent. Eight percent. I like What about if I had 17 twenties? Right. Multiply by five. Eighty-five. So eighty-five percent. Cool. I like it. So what about 
Uh, what you got, Jeff? What about four nights? Ah, shit, Jeff. <laughs> well, you know, not every fraction you can make it out of 100 easy. You can't. So when you have something you can't make the bottom 100, then you do have to long divide it. Because if you make it a decimal, you just got to move the decimal over to make it a percentage, right? So take a minute and do that. Yes, sir. Um, do we have to cancel the 0 of 80 over 100 to be 8 over 10? 8%, uh, 10% is going to be? No, no, no. no? Uh, to become a percentage directly, the bottom has to be 100. Or you can realize, you know, the 8 tenths is 80 over 100 and trying to skip that step. But to make this number become a percentage, is the bottom has to be 100. I like it. If I have four out of five things, don't I have almost 100%? 80% makes sense then. If I'm missing 20%. I'm almost at a full capacity. Four fifths of a tank of gas. Thank God. Because I've got no money. All right. How are you guys doing with this? It should be pretty quick to see this pattern. Don't go insane. It shouldn't take you long. Nine goes into 40 holes. Four times. 30 is equal to 40. Four times. 30 is equal to Okay, so it's 0.444. So how do you make that into a percentage? Yeah. Once, twice, so it becomes what percent? 44.4 repeating percent. Why does that make sense real quick? What's three ninths? Isn't that one third? Three ninths is one third? And what's one third as a decimal? One third as a decimal is 0.333. So three ninths is 0.333. Four ninths is 0.444. Five ninths would be 0.555. That's beautiful. Do you guys see that? Math is, part of math is noticing patterns so you don't have to do as much work later. All right. Uh, the next level, before I give you this little worksheet to work on, is this kind of question. And I've seen some weird freaking ways to do this question. Uh, like this kind of question. 7 is 13% uh, of what? Does that sound familiar? Doing those kind of questions? Or what is 28% of 30? Or, you know. Oh, I've seen some weird shit. And the funny thing is, the easiest way to do this is not just because I love math and algebra. The easiest way to do this is algebra. You can do is over of business if you want to, but somebody always finds a way to mess that up. This becomes an equation directly. This is one step away from an equation. Seven is, what's that in math? Equals. Equals. 13%, what is that in math? Make it into a decimal. 0.13. Of, please, your God, tell me you know what of means. Percentage of something, fraction of something. What do you do? What's the operation you do? Multiply. Thank God. People know that less and less. It kills me. It used to just be a thing you knew, like you knew how to breathe, you knew what freaking of meant. But they stopped teaching that in high school or even below that. So, what the hell? So of, percentage of something, fraction of something means multiply. Of what? So what do I put here? X. X. And then how do I solve that? Divide. 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 You divide by 0.13 to get the X by itself. Now if you did is over of, how would you set this up? What's the is? Is is 7. What's the of? And what's the percentage? 13. And then you can cross multiply. But there's so many places to go wrong. You misidentify the is or the of. To me, it's just so much better just to convert this directly into an equation. And there's always just one step to do, if any. Either way you do it, though, is fine because they're both valid. So divide, cancel, cancel. Yeah, so now divide by 0.13. And I would tell you to round this to something. What is 7 divided by 0.13? 53.6. 53.6. Okay. 
degree point, it sounds good to me. Now watch this, watch this. 13% of 100 is what? It's an easy question. 13% of 100 is? 13. So to make 7, isn't 7 like almost half of 13? So I need 13% of about half of 100 to make about half of what I, and sure enough, that's about a, that's close to half of 100. And there are other ways to look at this to see why it makes sense, and it might even help you figure out what the answer is supposed to be, so you can identify a mistake easily. Okay. All right, I think that's enough. Let me, let me give you this. So get back into your little groups that you're in, or you can make a different one. If you're like, I'm tired of looking at this person's face, you can get together with somebody else. If you're tired of looking at my face, it's too damn bad. You signed up for me. Uh,